Hi kids, I'm just going to show you guys a little example of how to use our Google Slides to draw some angles. So to begin with, uh, we've already seen this little page and it tells us that it's asked to draw a specific or an angle with a specific measurement. You require a ruler and a protractor. Obviously, you don't have those in, in Google Slides, but we do have a copy protractor here and we have the tool the line tool, which is actually just right up here. And if you click and hold, it shows it up here, okay? So to begin with, we want to use that line tool. So select line, and I'm gonna draw a horizontal line. Just select line, and I'm going to start drawing it. It's just a straight horizontal line. Now, you see that my line is selected. I now have these options for line start and line end. I'm going to start my line with a fill circle. And I'm going to end my line with just a fill arrow. Okay. I can also, and what I like to do is change my weight of the line to be about three. And then I typically change the color. Okay. So now I've got a red horizontal line with a circle and an arrow on the end. Now, step two of this is to use a protractor. And like I said before, you can go back to that first page, copy it, so Control C or right click and copy, go back to your page, paste it in, so Control V or right click and paste, to bring it into your, into your uh, page. Now, you want to line up the middle, middle right here, of your protractor on the dot, okay? Just to make things easy. So you wanna drag this over, and I know it might be a little bit difficult, but you wanna be best to line it up right in the middle. And if it's difficult, here's a strong suggestion. Go over to your zoom, go to 200. That's gonna allow us to see a lot more of our angle and our protractor. So Try to line it up almost perfectly right in the center with your protractor and that red little dot. Oh, and we're going a little bit too far. Once again, a little bit too far. Try your very best. And that should both do it. So you see how I've lined my bottom baseline up with my red arrow. Okay, and it's showing up on zero. So that's ideally what we want to do. Okay, you can go back and fit your screen. So here's my my um, my protractor, my line, and now all I have to do is I want to now go over and I need to draw the other arm of my angle. And the way that I'm going to do that is, yeah, I can go over and I can choose my line again and redo that. An easier way might be just to click on your line and Command or Control D. Control D actually just duplicates it. Okay, so that's just a little shortcut. You don't have to do that. You can go and redraw yours. That's fine, not a big deal. What I do then is I like to once again increase my size. And it might take a little bit of time for me to play around and find my angles or find my lines, and that's just fine. And what I'd like to do is take the dot, so I select my line, and I'm bouncing around a little bit. Once I've got my, got my line selected, I like to drag it over and place it pretty much on the dot that I had on my original line. Okay, so trying my very best, lining it up and trying. There we go. So I've got it pretty much lined up right over top. <clears throat> now, what I want to do is take the arrow part of my line. And because I'm looking for a 145 degree angle, okay, I can drag it anywhere. If that's my baseline. I'm starting at zero here, there's zero. Then I've got it at 10 degrees. 
but I want to go all the way up to 145. So using that interior measure, and I go past 20, past 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, and then right over here is my 145. So I will stop right there, let go, and there is my angle pretty much. If I have to recenter some things, that's not a big deal. And just recenter them so that your lines line up. Try your very best to make sure that's done. Okay. Once I've got mine done, typically what I do, once I've got it all created, I'll zoom back out of it, maybe 200. I want to move my protractor. Okay, move it out of the way. And then what I'm going to do is label it. Okay, I'll label my measurement. So I'm going to take my text box. I'm going to draw one here. And I'm going to label it as 145. 145 degrees. To get that symbol, you just go to Insert, Special Characters, type in degree, D-E-G-R-E, -E, and you'll see it right here. You click on it, and it actually just gets inserted right into where you want it. Now, in many cases, you'll be also asked to label angles, okay? And that was done previously in the uh, in the what are angles through uh, last week's work. But once again, you can just take your text box, the find your text box again, draw another one, B, and lastly, C. So that's just a simple way to create angles using Google Slides. Now, the other thing, and you don't have to do this, but sometimes it can be helpful, is I you sometimes just go into my shapes and I choose the pie shape. And okay, right here, this one that looks like Pac-Man. I select that. <clears throat> and what I can do with this is I can actually show the measure of my angle. And the way that I do that is I create it drag it over to my dot or just try to line everything up on my dot and this tool or this measuring shape <clears throat> allows us to manipulate the way that this pie shape is made so if i'm got my 145 degree angle i can just simply line my pie up and there is my little measure okay now, this is not a requirement to do that, but if you wanted to, you're more than welcome to do that. Okay, So hopefully that uh, provides you a little bit of an example of how to make a, an angle using Google Slides. Hopefully that helps. We'll talk to you guys soon.